everyone is shocked by Caitlin Clark's $76,000 WNBA salary. These numbers show there's more to the story. With just a few weeks remaining until the WNBA's 28th season tips off on May 14th, there's plenty to be excited about, Caitlin Clark is preparing to make her WNBA debut with the Indiana Fever, the Las Vegas Aces are eyeing their third consecutive championship, and the league is hoping to break viewership and revenue records. However, the one thing no one seems to be excited about is the player's pay. WNBA players notoriously make just a fraction of what their NBA counterparts make, and after the rookie contracts of NCAA stars like Caitlin Clark who will be paid around $76,000 during her first year were released on April 16, critics were quick to comment. These ladies deserve so much more. Praying for the day, Steelers quarterback Russell Wilson wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter. President Joe Biden also commented on the issue on X, writing, Women in sports continue to push new boundaries and inspire us all. But right now we're seeing that even if you're the best, women are not paid their fair share. It's time that we give our daughters the same opportunities as our sons and ensure women are paid what they deserve. Amid the criticism, WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert pushed back on the narrative when speaking at CNBC's Changemakers Summit on April 18, CNBC reported. Caitlin has the ability to make up to a half of a million dollars just in WNBA wages this year, so they're actually just looking at a base, which is collectively bargained and actually is low, but she also has millions and millions of dollars in endorsements, said Engelbert. WNBA salaries are negotiated in a collective bargaining agreement by the Women's National Basketball Players Association, UNPA, alongside other topics like benefits and revenue sharing. The league last negotiated its CBA in 2020 and will have a chance to opt out of the agreement in 2025. Clark's starting salary, thus, is just one piece of the puzzle when it comes to understanding the full story behind WNBA pay. Here's a breakdown of everything you need to know. In April 2024, CBS reported that Clark's four-year rookie contract is worth a total of $338,056. She'll be paid $76,535 in 2024, $78,066 in 2025, $85,873 in 2026 and $97,582 in 2027. Because they were within the top four first-round draft picks, Cameron Brink, Kamala Cardoso, and Rikia Jackson will have the same rookie salaries, as determined by the WNBA CBA. Meanwhile, picks 5 through 8 from the first round will earn a first-year base salary of $73,439, and the remaining first round picks will earn a first year base salary of $70,344. I would say if you look at the NBA or other professional men's leagues 28 seasons in, we're further ahead, but we realize we still have a lot of work to do, and it's all about the ecosystem around us that drives revenue," Engelbert said. Professional men's leagues are typically much older than their female counterparts. The MLB is 148, the NFL is 104, the PGA Tour is 95, and even the NBA is 78. The WNBA, meanwhile, is only 28. That said, interest in the league is accelerating in a major way. The WNBA reported that the 2023 regular season reached its highest levels of unique viewership since 2008, reaching over 36 million unique viewers across all national networks. Attendance also saw a 16% increase compared to 2022, marking the highest rate since 2018.